I don't even know what I was looking for when I started. I mean, I was in sixth grade and my friend's older sister had a blog and I just thought she was really cool and confident. And I think I was bored and like I did musical theater and I liked the idea of being different characters and dressing up and my friend's sister kind of showed me how fashion was part of that. And I didn't really know anything about fashion and um, so I would just go on style.com and click on every designer and look at every collection and then whatever resonated with me became a, an obsession and I would try to learn everything about that person and then I would watch every movie that they cited as a point of inspiration and I found other people who were interested in the same stuff that I was because I couldn't really sit at like the family dinner table and be like, did you guys see the new Rodarte collection? Because my parents would be like, no, we did not. I liked the idea of writing about fashion as sort of travel writing. Like when I went to Fashion Week and I was 14 or something, it wasn't about reviewing the show or just or saying what women should wear. Like I didn't, I don't, I don't care. But it's sort of like you get to go and you enter this world for a bit. Same with listening to an album or seeing a movie and I don't feel like a critic, I feel like a fan. Now that I'm out of it and I'm a little older, I'm like, oh my God, what was it like to be at like the Alexander Wang after party at Milk Studios and see like a 13 year old walk by with her dad? Like I understand why people were confused, um, but it's also because it's my life, it's not that weird to me. And I'm really glad that my parents were there with me and that they had an attitude about it that was like, they have no interest in, fashion, but my dad, who was with me most of the time, just thought it was so fascinating. It was like anthropological. I also just found the condition of being a teenager really interesting, and that's when I started to write more about that on my blog, and that eventually led to Rookie. I wanted a publication for young women that um, could be fun and have stuff like beautiful photography and DIYs and playlists and music, but also have really thoughtful articles that felt very honest. And I knew so many other writers and artists who were around my age through having my blog. So through a bunch of really boring, like finding money and finding people to design the website, um, it was able to start in 2011. I just wanted to create a space where our readers could find each other and publish their work and have a voice. Loneliness is just like a problem. I think it's part of being a person, but I think it can be really heightened when you're a teenager. You can feel sort of alienated from people around you, alienated by the world because young people aren't taken that seriously, and alienated from yourself because you're changing all the time, or at least I felt like I was, um, and I still am. So I think that some of the kind of remedies to loneliness are like writing you connect with, movies, books, and music, and that's why I care so much about sharing all of the stuff that I'm into, and that's why I'm really happy when a girl comes up to me and she's like, I watched that movie that you always talk about, and then we can discuss it. Now I live in New York and I live alone, and. Most of the people in my life are people I have met in that kind of way, like through the internet or through rookie writing my work. And um, they're very, very special connections to have.